Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What are y'all doing? Alright, so today we are decorating the Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree we just got. It's a six foot flock pine tree from Walmart. It was $39. We had to get a new Christmas tree because ours grew legs and walked off um, right out the shed. So, who knows? But anyways, I'm just taking everything off the wall right here because this is where we're going to put it at. And my daughter is helping me get it out of the box. Walmart has some really good deals on Christmas trees. I was really surprised that we were able to get a flocked one for only $39. They had some that weren't flocked and they were like five foot, six foot. Um, but our daughter really wanted the one with the snow on it. I was a little bit worried that it would make a mess, but surprisingly this tree did not lose much snow stuff at all. So we're pretty sure that somebody stole our Christmas tree out of our shed. And the funny thing is, is that when they go to put it up, they are going to be missing some legs because I found the little legs to it in our little ornament basket or bag that we use to hold all of our ornaments. So they're going to have that nice big pretty tree with no legs. And now I'm just doing the worst part of putting up a tree and that is trying to make it look full. I don't know if this is hard for everybody else, but it's hard for me. I can never get it to look right. <laughs> There's always holes everywhere. I feel like there has to be some kind of trick or hack by now that somebody's learned. Somebody tell me if y'all know it. So it has been a while since I have posted a video. I think well over 100 days is what it said since I posted my last video. And the reason for that is because we have had a lot going on. Um, we had a death in the family that really, really, really took a toll on me and my husband and my daddy and all. And it was just really, really rough. And so yeah, it was really, really hard on me. And I just really needed to step back for that. And also, um, if you're not new here, then you've probably seen my papa in some of my videos. Um, my papa is my grandpa, and his health has gotten really bad. And during the day, I take care of papa until mama gets off, and then mama takes care of papa. So, yeah, we're just, um, you know, navigating that as well, and just spending as much time with papa as we can. And also, Sadie has been having some health problems as well. You know, I don't really like to go into too much detail um, when it comes to Sadie's health because she is her own little person. But I do try to bring as much awareness as I can to the condition that she does have, which is Chiari malformation. Um, she did have brain surgery uh, when she was four, just a couple of days after her fourth birthday. And we could possibly be looking at another one. Um, she's got a new neurosurgeon um, that is going to be doing uh, a lot of new scans and stuff and looking to see what's going on um, because Sadie's eye surgeon is concerned right now. So um, we just got a lot of headaches and stuff and that's pretty much, um, you know, what's going on there. And yeah, so just a lot going on. Um, anyway so if y'all can see grace is probably going to end up knocking this tree over before christmas <laughs> so that is where we have been and also i did want to let y'all know that i cannot get into my instagram i just now was able to get into my youtube account i cannot get into anything whenever my phone took a swim i lost my passwords to everything y'all write y'all stuff down <laughs> don't count on the phone to save it you know um i always would click the whole you know save this password you know or whatever so i don't have to log in again and think oh you know it'll be fine uh, no y'all uh, i couldn't get into anything i had to make all new emails all new everything and it's just been a mess so i finally was able to get into my youtube account at least to be able to post this video i wasn't even able to comment back or anything it has been crazy when it comes to that but my instagram my tiktok i can't get into any of that stuff at all and it just is what it is but i will tell you it's been like a forced social media break and it's been amazing so 
But since I can't get into any of my social media that I had before, if you were messaging me or anything like that, and y'all, sorry, it's chaos in here. Um, Bubba's redoing Sadie's bathroom floor, and Sadie is having her a blast in the living room. So it might be kind of loud, but if you were wanting to email me or message me or anything, you can email me. I'll put it here on the screen, and then I'll also put it down in the description box below so y'all can um, email me. I'm able to get into my email. All right, so let's get to talking about decorating this tree. Um, when it comes to decorating for really any holiday, I don't go all out, and that is because, you know, we live in a single wide trailer and I don't have a lot of space to store things. So the way I've been combating my space issue, especially lately, is to only keep things that, you know, mean something to me. And the only way I'll really get something new is if I get rid of something else. And when it comes to my Christmas ornaments and stuff like that, I don't want to get new ones because I'm not going to get rid of the ones that I have. And the reason for that, I'll show you, they're all kind of heirloom um, Christmas ornaments. They're very old. They were given to me by my mother-in-law. Um, they are, I mean, extremely old. I'll show y'all. And the only thing we did get new this year with the Christmas tree was this bow here. It was $4.98 at Walmart. So I didn't really want to put these little Christmas village houses down. I got them last year when Dollar Tree was still four quarters instead of five quarters. And they're just little plastic, little cheap things. But Sadie really loves them. So I was like, all right, we can keep them. Um, and she wanted to put them out down there. I let her put them wherever. And also wherever she put the ornaments, I did not, you know, move them. There was a couple that I did have to like move a little bit but for the most part I didn't move what she put because she was really excited to be able to reach a lot more this year so I didn't finagle with with much but this tris Christmas tree the Christmas tree skirt um that was also given to me by my mother-in-law was like thrifted and this is part of my Wizard of Oz ornaments and then I've got some random like nutcracker ornaments but like from the nutcracker ballet my Wizard of Oz ornaments are super old. They were also given to me by my mother-in-law. Like I said, they're heirloom. Um, and these super old, like, I don't know, that one's a baby. And then there's like a little old horse. And then there's this super old, um, the lion from the Wizard of Oz. We are missing the Tin Man, but we have Dorothy and Toto. I think I should show that one here in a second. Um, these are, I don't think those are super old, but I think they're pretty, so I keep those. But yeah, there's Dorothy and Toto. But yeah, like I said, we're missing the Tin Man. I really wish I had that one, but that's the only one I'm missing. I think there was a set of four. And then that's Sadie's little ornament she made. And then this here is super old too. It's like a wooden um, hand painted one. And then this one here is old as well. Um, that was with the baby and then that lady with the blue dress. I don't really know exactly what they are. I just know they're Christmas ornaments. I know they're a little scary, but hey, um, <laughs> I just know they're super old and I, I do love them. But anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all like my tree with, you know, the holes in it and everything. And <laughs> I really hope I see y'all in the next one. Toodaloo!